Hi students, welcome. So today we are going to discuss about impulse. So this is a important concept. Uh, this comes in our uh, discussion of uh, center of mass chapter or it comes in the Newton's rules. So uh, today we are going to cover the basic definition of this and then how it is calculated and then we are going to do this question. So let's start. So First is impulse. What is impulse? This is defined as change in momentum due to a force. Okay, like for example, this block is there and one force is acting on this block. So what will happen due to this? The velocity may increase or decrease, right? So due to this, the momentum of object will be changed. So let's say if there was some initial momentum P initial and then finally there was a momentum P final. So this change in momentum P final minus P initial that is known as impulse. Okay, so and this is also calculated by integration of a force with respect to time. So we can uh, define impulse J, J equals to integration of F dt up to the time uh, period that we want to calculate. Okay. So now we know F is equal to dp by dt. So if we just multiply dt in this side, we can write down F dt is equal to dp. And if we integrate, we can write down integration of F dt is equal to del p, right? Okay. So from here, we can say that uh, impulse j vector is equal to change in momentum, right? Okay, so what will be the in, uh, unit of impulse? So unit of impulse will be Newton, uh, Newton second, you can say Newton second, or you can say kilogram meter per second, right? Now, can we calculate this impulse uh, from the graph, yes, we can calculate this impulse from the graph. How we can calculate by force time graph? We can calculate the impulse. So in, we know that uh, J impulse is equals to integration of F dt, right? F dt is the integration, and what is the integration area under the curve, right? So if we draw the F t curve, so area under F t curve will be the integ. Uh, integration f dt and integration f dt is impulse, right? So impulse will be area under f t curve. So from there we can calculate, right? Now let's go on the question. So the, in the question it is given that there is a force time graph and the force is increasing from zero to uh, eight Newton uniformly in three seconds and then three to six seconds, it is again decreasing from eight to zero. And we need to find out change in momentum, right? Okay, so now we know that change in momentum is uh, impulse and that is equals to F dt, right? So F dt is area under curve. So that's why change in momentum is area under curve. Now here, this is the area that we need to calculate and this shape is a triangle and here in this uh, shape this base is 6 seconds right and the height is 8 newton okay so that's why the area of uh, this triangle will be half into base into height and from there the del p will be half into base is 6 and height is 8 so the area is 24, so that's why the change in momentum is 24 Newton second or 24 kilogram meter per second. So in this video, we have discussed about impulse. So now we can attempt the questions on impulse, right? Okay, so thank you. Let's end our okay.